one teeny tiny thing. Ticks. Hi, this is Tanner, Rissa, and Willa. We're accomplishing a lifelong dream of ours to live internationally, and we now call Germany our home. With so many new cultures, religions, landscapes, and foods to experience, we have been busy immersing ourselves to our new life abroad, one country at a time. In six short months, we have traveled to Iceland, Greece, and many other nearby countries. We've had tons of crazy experiences, like chasing a guy down who stole our backpack in Croatia, and crying when we first laid our eyes on the Dolomites. In this video, we are staying close to home and exploring more of our local area. Roughly one third of Germany is covered with forests, and today we are taking you with us to discover what this German forest looks like. Although taking a shower is normally the most important thing to do after hiking, this time it is checking for ticks. Yep, we know this because Tanner got the short end of the stick and experienced this firsthand. That's right, baby. That was more of a struggle than it needed to be. You ready to go hiking, Willa? In the forest? Los gets. What is good, you guys? Welcome to our channel. I'm Marissa, this is Tanner, Will is in the backpack, and we're gonna take you on an adventure today. This morning, we're going hiking through a German forest, and we cannot be more excited. It's a nice, chilly Saturday morning, and absolutely beautiful. So we're taking full advantage of that. We're hoping to see lots of animals, little critters and stuff. We can't wait to bring you along. Although it's a beautiful fall day, it is a chilly one, so we're gonna go and enjoy the forest before it starts getting colder in the next coming months. It's gonna be a blast. We just stepped foot into the shadows and yeah, it's gonna get a lot colder on this hike. What a slug. <laughs> slug, slug. <laughs> <laughs> that echoed so bad. There's a slug in the middle of the ground and you thought that it was a snake, so. Oh my gosh. Woo, we barely entered into the forest, you guys, and I'm already a little scared to see snakes. Why? Because when we've jogged in other trails nearby, we have seen snakes and I'm not a fan of them. So Tanner, you're gonna have to um, not scare me like that. <laughs> so I'll try and not jump at the slugs that come up. <laughs> so a lot of these younger trees have a blue fence around them and I've heard that's to protect them from the deer coming along and eating their tender branches. So it's pretty cool to see that there's a lot of effort that goes into keeping the trees from being eaten and so that they can grow up and be the next generation of trees. Got a way of keeping me up most nights It's always worth the sleep I sacrifice And love is too precious to trade for rested eyes And you look beautiful in the morning light As you can see right here, there's a lot of moss in this forest and it's fun because it almost seems like at different parts of the forest, the floor is different. So here, when you walk on it, it's, you know, bouncy, a little squishy. I mean, it's moss, it's really soft. It's almost like a little trampoline on it and it is beautiful. And for us, it's really different compared to what we're used to seeing in Utah in the forest there. You, you'll never find this there. So far, no wildlife, you guys, which is interesting to us because even from our house, which isn't that far away from forest, we see a lot of wildlife outside of our house. So you think by getting in that we'd see some and we know that's where they are. We just haven't seen them yet. I don't know how you feel the air in your lungs Cause you could talk your way around the big old sun But I keep hoping that the end won't come, honey I could listen to you all day long So a couple weekends ago, I went hiking with a group of Germans in the Eiffel National Park and it was absolutely incredible with the exception of one teeny tiny thing, ticks. After we got done with the second day of hiking, I was checking my body, taking a shower, and I found one right here. <laughs> yep, 
right on my butt cheek. So something you don't expect to do is pull this out of your butt cheek. Ooh. And I didn't even feel it until I was trying to wash my body and like I thought it was just like a, a branch or like a, a little pebble or something and it wouldn't come off. Fortunately, I was able to get it off and there was nothing left in there. But that is something that we have to be very careful about in checking for ticks. Uh, one of the other hikers actually told me that they had gotten a vaccine for ticks to prevent from other diseases that they might carry. So really hoping that I'm staying healthy. I took a picture of it to be sure. We know ticks can carry a lot of nasty diseases. And so that experience for me a couple weekends ago really has opened up my eyes to be very careful and checking every inch, washing clothes, making sure that we don't have any on us. So hoping today that's the same. So there is an obvious risk of getting ticks on you when you go hiking in the forest, but we're huge outdoors people. So taking a few extra precautions is well worth it for us. Your mind wanders and your thoughts run wild But I will walk beside you every mile So I believe this is a salt lick intended for deer and other animals to come here And that would make sense because right over there is a tree stand so these roads are a lot wider than what you typically would see in a hiking trail and even for us that was a huge surprise. We wondered, wow, are these roads really used that much? And the biggest reason why is because logging. A lot of trees will have numbers and markings on them indicating whether they're going to be kept or not. And then there's these large tracks that go into the forest. So we just saw two little deer. They look like pygmy deer to us, but I have no idea how old they are. But pretty cool. Marissa, you actually caught this one. I'm usually the first one that sees animals, but got me today. What is it? Oh, it's right there. Helicopter. One sure way to know that Willa's getting hair is her hair in the wind. What is it? Metal. Metal. That one's a rock. But we did just see a mushroom, huh? That's a rock. Rock. And when the words out long This area looks a lot more like the falls in Utah. There's the quaking aspen trees that have the small circular leaves and the leaves are changing color. So kind of had a little flashback of hiking yeah. in Utah and Idaho and so kind of fun to have that memory. Uh, we have noticed quite a few areas where people will pull their cars off to the side of the road and they'll be like out there searching for mushrooms is what we believe. We saw this guy walk right out of the forest in his camel pants, yeah. And Carrying a basket. Basket and he had rubber boots on to keep his feet dry. We didn't see if there was anything in his basket but we yeah. hear that that's kind of a fun pastime to do. And we've seen quite a few mushrooms along the side of the roads. Obviously we're not going to be one that's adventurous at this point. Maybe in a future video next year we'll get together yeah. with someone who who knows more about it and that'd be something that'd be really fun because we're not going to go out and venture and try and find some edible mushrooms right now. Yeah, we're just not sure which ones are edible and I'm sure we would like, I don't know. We'd probably end up sick. Yeah. <laughs> But there was a very nice little spring and it was really cool because you could see this beaver dam and this area where they would cross from one water side of the water to the other. So we didn't see any beavers but it was cool yeah. to see their area there. And then we did see a dead salamander looking snake. I'm trying to remember the name of those. I'll put the name there but 
Yeah. It was dead, and Marissa Luckily, was so thankful whoo, for that. But <laughs> We saw a lot of animal droppings in this area, so we know, I mean, it's a water source, so a lot of animals are coming this way. Um, but other than the two deer and the dead snakes, that's really what we found so far. But lots of mushrooms. Lots of mushrooms. <laughs> Do you see your shadow? Oh, cool. Oh. Not to make you busy, but there are so many choices here. It would be incredibly easy to get lost in this forest. The only way we're not is Tanner is using the Camus app and maps need to get us back to our car. We're getting close to our car. We hiked about seven kilometers, so we didn't really go in with any specific amount. It was a fun adventure walking around and not quite as cold as I thought. Luckily, the sun peeked out between the trees occasionally and that helped so much. Willa and all of us are ready to go back and get some food and start checking for ticks. I will always find a way to love you, babe. I will always find a way to love you, babe. I will always find a way. We're home now. We're gonna go get in the shower, check for ticks. So, this is our time to go now. Thanks for being here. Hit that like button and the subscribe button. We'll catch you on the next video. Post shower and no ticks. <laughs>